Parallel and perpendicular constraints. We can place parallel and perpendicular constraints to an object. In this case, we have a multi-view drawing with the front view and the right side view. And we're going to start off by putting some parallel uh, constraints in. And we're going to go up to the geometric constraints panel. We're going to pick parallel. First, I'm going to pick the upper one and the lower one. And now these two lines are parallel. And they will always be. I can't change them so they're not. Then I'm going to place two more parallel. I'm going to pick this one and this one. Now these two lines will be parallel. Let's place some more over on the right side view. I'm going to top and bottom line parallel. And I'm going to place uh, my hidden lines for my hole to be parallel. Okay? And I can also place, in this case, uh, I want my my intersection line here, this line here, to be parallel with the top line. So I'll place that one in there as well. <clears throat> now, we need to place this thing. We could actually, they can make it parallel, but we could have a, um, you know, we could squish it and make it a parallelogram. So what we want to do is place some perpendiculars in here. And now, if I place a perpendicular here and here, this corner will be perpendicular 90 degrees. So that will make all this thing more fully constrained. Same thing with over here. We need to constrain this. So I'm going to put in a perpendicular. I'll pick that and that. And I'll place a perpendicular in there as well. So we can tie these things down by the perpendiculars and the parallels so that it doesn't get to be a squished parallelogram. It gets to be more of a rectangular square. So we can use parallel and perpendicular constraints to constrain our geometry.